Hi everyone, welcome back to Bella Branch DIY. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. I have a super cute and easy and high-end looking DIY today. It is a boho chic mirror and you guys are gonna love it. So you ready? Let's go. First, you're gonna start with a 12 inch wreath base and some cotton rope. And this cotton rope is super soft. It's not like regular rope. And don't worry, I have the links to everything in the description so you can find all the supplies. But you're gonna to wanna to cut 12 of these. And the 12 is gonna actually make 36 tassels. And this rope is so cool. If you've ever seen the chandeliers from Anthropology, it's the same kind of rope they use. And I happen to have one in my dining room. And when you're done cutting all your rope, you're going to want to take a piece of scotch tape or masking tape and put it at the end of the remainder of your rope so that it doesn't unravel. Next, take your wreath base, and this is a metal wreath base, and you're going to take your first cut piece of rope and divide it into three pieces. Now take your piece of rope, fold it in half, and put the loop side through the last ring of the wreath, and then pull the two loose ends of the rope through to create a tassel. And when you get to this vertical line, you're gonna to wanna to take your pieces and put it on either side of that line because what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to cover that so that you don't see it on your mirror. And you're gonna keep making all of these tassels all the way around until you fill the entire outside of your mirror. And when you complete your last tassel, you're ready to add your mirror. First, you're gonna to wanna to take some paper and you're gonna to wanna to cover your surface so that you don't get any glue on it. And then put your mirror on top. And then check to see where you're gonna center it and where you're gonna add your glue. So you see where I'm adding the hot glue. And you're gonna to wanna to use the high heat Gorilla Glue. I have it linked in the description if you guys wanna find that. Then add your mirror on top, and I put a piece of paper on top of here just so it's not distracting while we're filming. And then flip it over, and you're gonna wanna strengthen where you already added the glue by adding just blobs of glue along that side. And the Gorilla Glue that's high heat is super strong, so you're not gonna have to worry about it falling off. Next, you're gonna take some of your rope, and you're gonna add that to the outside of your mirror, butting up against the bottom of your tassels, and just continue all the way along until you add your rope on the interior of the mirror. And just make sure you have enough glue all the way around. And when you get to the end, you're gonna add your little last bit of glue, and then we're gonna wanna trim it. So you're going to put that down and you're going to cut that and then we're going to add some glue right to the outside because we don't want it to unravel and we're going to kind of squish it together and then push it right down and butt it up against the other end and then trim any excess. Now take some twine and add a little dab of glue on the end so it makes it as if it was a needle and you're going to string some wooden beads and string the wooden beads to the length of the inside of your mirror. And when you get to the end, you're going to tie it in a knot and make sure that it fits perfectly. And then next, we're going to hot glue that right into the edge right there. And you could put the glue onto the rope and also onto the mirror and kind of squish it along uh, so it touches the rope. This is the cutest, cutest mirror. I cannot believe how good this is turning out. And then you're done. And you don't have to put anything in the back to hang it because the wreath base already acts like the perfect structure to hang it on the wall. So you just put a nail in the wall 
hanging up and you've got the cutest boho chic mirror. I hope you guys loved today's DIY. I think it turned out so cute. It turned out even better than I thought it would turn out. It literally looks like you bought it from Anthropology. So I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to comment and let me know if you're gonna try this project. And as always, happy DIYing. Until next time, bye.